Hello. <laughs> Question number two coming up, and this is it. What's if you're ready, ladies. Question? What's that? Is this going to be another <laughs> clinker question to close the board? Well, that was a pretty interesting question. You pretty didn't like it. It was a great question. What was? What's wrong with you? <laughs> <laughs> I'll get you. Don't later. start. Don't start. Here we go, ladies. This is it. Do you think your husband is smarter than you are? <laughs> with this one, chickies. <laughs> Don't say anything now. Do you think your husband is smarter than you are? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Guess I fixed them. John, what will Patty say to this one? Well, I, 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 I want to make clear that uh, <laughs> there is no uh, problem of a chauvinist situation going on here, you know? Uh, and, and because she says that Bert... Yeah. Are you all right, Bert? I'm resting. I'm Is resting. Joe's dog. Uh, okay. <laughs> I, uh, I, uh, no, she will say that I am, but it, uh, it's not, not because, uh, not because it's true. Just she's being going to be uh, nice and say he's smarter than I am. No, no, not think? really. No, no, uh, it's true. I think she believes that I am. She does really believe that. Yeah. That's very nice. Here she comes. We'll find out, won't we? Patty, do you think that John is smarter than you are? He married me, didn't he? Yes. That's what he said. Now, the fact is, she is uh, really a lot more intelligent than she's giving herself credit for. You. I'm <laughs> a genius. Are you oh, kidding? <laughs> I thought you were going to say that she's given credit for, that she gives That's herself that credit That happens, for. too. Thank you, Patty. <laughs> what will Ann say, Jerry? I don't uh, expect her to, to have to pay homage to my brain. I don't think she married me for my mind. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> or, but I, 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 I really don't understand where it's going in life anyway, so I, but I know it's not up here. Uh, so I, I wouldn't expect her to suddenly uh, become uh, plat platitudinous or gratuitous at this point and say, he has a wonderful mind, my husband's a super brain, he's not an Einstein, he cannot invent uh, a penicillin. I, I know she's going to say exactly what is the honest thing is that she uh, is brighter than me and uh, she's going to say that I am not as smart as so she she'll is. Say no. That's right. Okay, here Terrible. she comes. Shh. And do you think that uh, Jerry is smarter than you are? Yes or no? No. That's right. That's what he said. <laughs> he's just as smart. He's not, smart. He's not so smart, eh? He, no, he's just as smart. He's not just smart. as smart. Oh, he's that's smart. Oh, that's not bad. Not, not smarter. <laughs> Equally as smart is what yes. she says. But the, a few brain cells die every year, and he's losing a few. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, we all do that from time to time, don't yes, we? Gene, what will yes. Helen say? Does she think she's smarter than you are? Or that you're smarter than she is, I should say. <laughs> well, I think she is smarter than I am, but she's going to say that I am smarter than she is because she's a sweet, dear, loving, magnanimous person. Oh. We're oh. going to get divorced next week. Yeah. <laughs> you think she will say you are smart? I yes? think she will, yes. Do you indeed. think so, truly? Oh, no, I think she is smarter than I am. Really? I think she has marvelous native intelligence. Yep. Yep. And that's why she's saying you're smarter than she is. Yeah, that's right. Could be. <laughs> that proves it, right? Here she comes. <laughs> Helen, do you think that Jean is smarter than you are, yes or no? First of all, that's a dumb question, but I'm going to go blue section. I'm going to go strictly on women's lip. I'm smarter. <laughs> no. He said you would be... Very magnanimous and say I he agree was. with her. Even though he does believe that you are smarter than he is. I know I that. said that. You're smart, honey. So that I makes am. two of you right. Right. <laughs> Wrong for the question, but right in life. This section will slash the tires in our car. No, they won't. Line. Patty and John and Ann and Jerry are right at halftime, uh, fellas. If you will step to the rear, we'll split that one in half. We'll come back with a second half of John and Bill's after this message for you. See the moment. I'm... I'll, I'll, I'll be there in a minute. We've changed prices after halftime. I have three lovely ladies with me. Patty and John are in the lead, fellas, with 225 bucks, uh. and Ann and Jerry have 75. And uh, Jean, uh, you and Helen have blank, which only right. seems proper at this moment, doesn't it? <laughs> if you're ready to go, guys, here's a question. It's worth $150. Men, for one week, you must actually be one of the other panelists on the show. Who would what? you pick? For one week, you must actually be one of the other men panelists on the show. Well, this question is... That narrows the narrow. It's addressed to the men. It's addressed to the men. Uh, you have to be one of the other guys for one week. Who would you pick? Okay? Got it? Goodbye. Who uh, would Well, it might be kind of fun to uh, step into somebody else's shoes for a week, you know? Who do you think Jerry would choose if he had to pick one of the other two guys for a week? Oh, dear. I think he'd... 
like to be both Patty and Helen. No, 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 that's... Uh... <laughs> no, we're talking... I mean, he's very open in mind. Um, I don't... Uh... Uh, gee, I this, hate these this is yeah. Yes. These are you know what this calculated is? to really no, make No, this you... is for fun. This, this has... is for fun. It has nothing and to do with. And it make at least one couple hate you. Not That's true. Right. That's right. Yes. It can't well, be. I think for fun, because uh, he's really so opposite from Jerry. You know, being a game show host and and uh, facile and like that. Whereas You're not going to choose I, John. no, I'm not choosing John. I think he'd want to be Gene for Don't a week. Fight kids. He'd be Gene. And uh, also, uh, they have a beautiful new home in Cape Cod, and he'd like to sponge off of Helen for a while. Hey, why not? <laughs> okay. Now, John, I don't know. Because you've got five kids, he's got enough with two. No, it's Gene, there you I go. Think. Now, see, that's no, the attitude. Here he comes. Let's see what he says. <laughs> Jerry. Jerry, if you had to pick one of the other guys to be for one week, who would you pick? I think Ann would probably say Patty. No, no, no. She did say that, as a matter of fact. No, one of the other guys. Oh, one of the... Oh, that's exactly oh, 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 that's not, Well, I'm just translating it. Uh, it's because I would probably want to be uh, close to someone very close to Annie uh, in temperament and personality, which would make Patty very close, because they're both... In yeah, the West Jerry, side the Jerry, it's got to be one of the other guys. Oh, well, I don't want to be with either one of those two guys. <laughs> <laughs> or in their boots, but... Uh, <laughs> I, 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 I love them both, and I both think, they think they both hit so many different areas. I, I know it would have to be closer to John. No. <laughs> so there you are. Ooh. Now that's interesting. You said closer to. See, yeah. the thing that makes it fun is what Ann said, is that this is a gene is, is different from you. She said very, very different from you, so that would be the biggest change which makes it fun. But likes himself as well he should. That's not Thank the question. You, it's only for a week. No. And uh, you oh. seem to go along with that going no, with I Jerry could never for handle, I could never oh, handle Jerry, Gene's life because up. he is a, a host of a game show yeah, and I can hardly... Handle it. You're going to be hardly... him for a week. We're going to say for you can week? be him for... It's over. You're wrong. Yeah. Yeah. Helen, yeah. can I get a second what chance? What would Gene say? <laughs> what would Gene say? Yes. Who would he pick if he had to pick one of the other two guys? He would like to be Jerry because he would love to be a comedian be in one. He'd love to work in a comedian, you know, right. team or right. one. He'd like to be Okay, because he'd like to work in one and then work yep. with Ann and be a comedian. Yep. Okay, there's a, certainly a valid reason, right? Kids bring on Gene. <laughs> Who am I in trouble? Gene. Yes. Uh, if you had to pick one of the other two guys to be for a week, one week, it's for fun. Who would you pick? Tim Conway. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> one he's, been, he's been on, hasn't he? No. Yeah. Um. Mm, uh, John. No. <laughs> Helen said Jerry. Now, wait a minute. I'd be interested, I'd be interested to see why, because I'll tell you why I said John. All right, you you tell, tell him why you said that, Helen. I said you'd pick Jerry because you'd like to be a comedian. You'd love to do something in one. You'd like to work in a team. You're so dumb. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, what was your reason? Well, you see, I... I was just funning around backstage a little while ago before we started, yeah. and I thought Helen saw me uh, making a pass, oh. uh, at, uh, and I thought, well, sir, but, sir, so I don't know. I don't know what he's uh, saying, do I you? I don't either. What I is don't. he talking about he here? He fondles me upon occasion. He fondles you upon occasion? I was... Well, I never was fondled. You didn't fondle that? Now, wait a minute. Wait, this question's gotten totally out of hand here. It certainly has. We're not talking about things like that. I was just copping a little feel. That's all. What the heck? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Nobody Maddie. says it on Match Game. You and John. And backstage behind the flats. I've got a chance. <laughs> well, oh, you've got a chance to get the whole thing for the bananas here. Now, what is John? Who's John going to pick? They John. Both... <laughs> that seems to be the consensus, doesn't it? They both pick John. Who's he going to pick? This is very difficult. Yeah, you're the one that hated this, and now you're the one that's in the tough spot. See, because he'd probably want to have their house in Cape Cod, too. <laughs> it has nothing to do with the virtues of either man. It's no, what it's they just got. a question of materialism. Um, I'm going to take Jerry, because everybody else said Jerry. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, don't start with me. All right. <laughs> don't mess with her. She's got most of the money right now. She's, she's doing pretty well. Here comes John. John, you can get the whole thing for the bananas right here, and you've had plenty of time to think about it. I sure have. I you, want to tell you. You can be either I'm one of these guys. I've just gone through all the possibilities, and I'm hysterical just thinking You can be it. either one of these guys on the panel. You must yeah. pick one of them for a week. It's oh, I thought week. you meant all the panelists. No, no, the including men. Including the women. Only oh. the men. 
Oh, well, well it's, not, it's not quite as funny. They all wanted to be the women. That's not quite as funny. Okay, I, I tell you, I, I think then if it's limited to the men, uh, I, I, so I've known Jerry for so many years, I think I'd have to pick Jerry. That's the one! <laughs> you got it, and you got it all, too. Uh, uh. And there it is, and the boy will come back in a moment with the $300 question and see what happens from here, all right. Now playing on... This one's worth $300, and this will decide it. And if you are ready, gentlemen, here we go. Men, if you're both suddenly awakened from a deep sleep, which of the two of you can gather your wits together and function more quickly? It's a good question. Helen, we're going to start with you. Between you and Jean, who can get going quicker? I think I can get going quicker. I think anybody who has been a mama can get going quicker. Yeah, quick. You're up, and that's it. Yep. you gotta, you got to be yep. alert and ready yep. to go. Ready to go. It's you. You're, here he comes. Gene, between you and Helen, which one of you can get up and get going quicker after being suddenly awakened from a deep sleep? Crap shoot again. Uh, that's a wild guess. I can. No. Uh, Helen said she can. And you have batted a thousand for the day, yes, sir. That's right. <laughs> El Zippo. Uh, Annie, what about you and Jerry? Now, uh, uh, for the most part, I've been rather placid in the morning. Okay. Comatose. Nobody cares. I'm stalling. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. Uh, but I think he gets out there and jogs in the morning and uh, makes me tea and stuff. I say, Jerry. That's the man, then. Here he comes. Don't say anything. Shh. Jerry. Jerry, if yep. you're both suddenly awakened from a deep sleep, which one of you can gather your wits together and function more quickly? You or Annie? Annie. No. She said you. Well, <clears throat> okay, now hold it. We have a chance here. If you get this, it will be the biggest amount of money anybody's ever won on title Okay, baby. <laughs> Tell us about it. I am comatose upon awakening. Yes. The man does it all. He gets up and he's ready to function. This is it. Here we go. Bring him on. All right, John, you can get the whole 300 bucks for your section right here and win the most money any couple's ever won on title Tales in one show. If you're both suddenly awakened from a deep sleep, which of the two of you can gather your wits together and function more quickly? You. I, I can. That's it! You got it! Got the whole 300. Look at that total. We'll come back in just a moment. And give the banana section the rest of their money. Incredible. See you in a minute. The bananas with Patty and John. Look at that total. $675. We had a thousand. The bananas will divide 1,675 big ones. Thank you, everybody, for watching us on Town of Pillsbury County saying so long. See you next time. This is Gene Woods speaking for Tattletail. A Mark Goodson, Bill Todman production.